In this video we're going to review the bones and the surface markings of the pelvic girdle, the leg, and the feet. Um, here we're looking at the whole pelvic girdle, which is the way I would put it on a test. I'd give you this whole structure, or I would do it on one of the skeletons. There's three bones that make up the pelvic girdle. This is the ilium, is in the superior region. Right here, anteriorly, we have the pubis, and then posteriorly, we have the ischium. So again, the ilium, the pubis, and the ischium are the three main bones. Right here, this structure here is actually made of parts of each of those three. That is the acetabulum. That is where the head of the femur is going to articulate, what makes up what consider your hip. The other structure, another structure you need to know is this ridge. This is called the iliac crest. You can feel this if you kind of dig your fingers in, right, run above your hip, you can actually run it along the iliac crest. Another structure you need to know, and this is not a bone, this is actually a joint, but this is called the pubic symphysis, this cartilage right here, and this cartilage right here, so that's the pubic symphysis. Back here you can also see the sacrum, you can see the last lumbar vertebrae, and then you can see the coccyx down here. But again, let's go through this, here we have the ilium, on the ilium the surface marking you have is the iliac crest, we have the pubis bone in the anterior, we have the ischium posteriorly, we have the acetabulum which is made up, surface marking that is made up of all three of these bones, and then you have the pubic symphysis which is a joint between the two bones here. Now looking at the hip from the posterior region, so we're looking from the back, you can see up here would be the, up here would be the pubis bone, this is the ischium, this is the femur, the proximal aspect of the femur. This is the head of the femur, which would articulate with that acetabulum right in here. You see how deep that is? Unlike the shoulder, it's much deeper and a much more stable, a much more stable joint. You have the head of the femur, below the head you have the neck, and then you have these two bumps. Like we had tubercles with the humerus, we have trochanters with the femur. So one of the things you have to work on is ma making sure you know that there are tubercles in the humerus, trochanters in the femur. This is the greater trochanter, obviously because it's much bigger. It's on the lateral side, it's on the lateral side, you can actually feel it if you put your fingers below your hip and you rotate your foot, you can actually feel that greater trochanter rub under your fingers. This is the lesser trochanter, it's going to be more posteriorly, and you, it's hard, you can feel this, but it's pretty painful because you have to dig in pretty deep. So again, we have the ischium, we have the acetabulum in here, head of the femur, neck, greater trochanter, lesser trochanter, and then we also here again, this B is just representing the femur. Now let's look at the anterior portion of the knee, looking at it from the anterior viewpoint. Here we have the femur, we have the femur here, we have the patella, we have the tibia and the fibula. The fibula is going to be lateral to the tibia. The fibula is going to be lateral to the tibia. Now, spelling, tibia, T-I-B-I-A, do not start it with an F. Same thing with fibula, do not start it with a T. If you do that, you will get it wrong. One way to remember them correctly is the fibula is a smaller bone. When you tell a small lie, when you tell a small lie, it is a fib. So the smaller bone is the fibula. Fibula is lateral, tibia is medial. This structure here on the tibia is called the tibial tuberosity, and you can feel that. If you find your patella and go down about an inch or so, you'll feel that tibial tuberosity. That's where your quadriceps, most of your quadriceps are going to attach. A couple more structures here on the femur. We have the medial condyle and we have the lateral condyle. The way to make sure you're getting this right is look at the femur, get it oriented correctly, the head of the femur is going to be medial, so you look for that head, if you come down that condyle then will be the medial condyle, and on the opposite side we have the lateral condyle of the femur. Let's go through these one more time, A, this is the femur, the patella, 
the tibia, which is medial, the fibula, which is lateral. You have the tibial tuberosity of the tibia and the anterior. We have a medial condyle of the femur and a lateral condyle of the femur. Now going down to the foot, here you have the tibia, which again is medial, the fibula, which is lateral. Here you have these bones, which are the tarsals. Okay, they are the tarsals. The way to remember is tarsals are at your toes. The one tarsal whose name you need to know is the calcaneus. That's, think of it, your heel bone when you step down. That one you need to know by name. All of these are the tarsals. This is the calcaneus. Down here is the metatarsals. And you have the phalanges. So you actually have two sets of phalanges. One at your fingers, one with your toes. Again, tarsals, toes, so you don't get those screwed up. Here, again, medially is the tibia. Lateral is the fibula. Calcaneus is part of the tarsals, the one you need to know by name. Metatarsals and phalanges. Again, review and practice.